Well, it's a costly mistake for longtime state lawmaker Ron Gerberry. He admitted to errors in reporting his campaign expenses a number of years ago, and now he's out of a job in the Ohio House of Representatives and his career in politics hangs in the balance. 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti explains what got Gerberry in trouble. With his wife and family close behind, Ron Gerberry walked into court this morning, having agreed to accept a charge of taking improper compensation for the way he handled his campaign finance statements. It's a misdemeanor of the first degree. Gerberry was accused of sending thousands of dollars to a media consultant during the 2010 campaign and claiming the payments on his financial statements as covering advertising expenses. The consultant then refunded much of that money later on. Gerberry admits it was a way to reduce what he'd be expected to donate to party leaders in the General Assembly. At a time, the Ohio House Democrat Caucus was putting tremendous pressure on all the members to contribute money to the campaigns of other Democrats. Gerberry insists none of the returned money ever went into his own pocket and that he never realized until later what he'd done was a crime. But ignorance of the law is no excuse. And I want everyone to know that I accept full responsibility for my actions. How do you plead? In court, Gerberry, who's held elected office more than 40 years, 27 of them in the Ohio House, then apologized. I am truly uh, remorseful, and uh, I'm sorry, and uh, I apologize to the people of Ohio. Gerberry was given six months in jail and a $1,000 fine, both of which were suspended. In exchange, he's expected to cooperate with local, state, and federal authorities in other cases. Um, I'm just hoping that other public officials learn a lesson from this, that you can't play fast and loose with campaign finance laws. Along with his plea, Gerberry also resigned from his seat and says he'll donate what is still left in his campaign account to local charities. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.